Roblox has historically been marketed as a game for kids. Despite that fact though, clubs were still a prevalent genre all the way back in 2015. I would know, I was there. You gotta be 18 at least in Australia to step foot in a club. And I think it's like 21 in America. So I have no idea how us kids were getting into these places so young. But anyway, a video called the Roblox Dance Club was posted by a user named Roblox Ho in 2014 showing a cool, dark, trendy club where Robloxians would come to hang out and party all night. Now, I don't remember playing this version of the club, but the layout seems pretty familiar. I think the Roblox Dance Club video is important context because the very first club I recall from back in my early days on the Roblox platform was Boys and Girls Dance Club. Boys and Girls Dance Club was littered with free models and was super easy to copy and paste one to one. So remakes would get millions of visits without the creators putting in any effort. The premise of the experience was pretty simple. Most players would join the game, change their name to something cool, and customize their avatar to look rich and hot so they can dance the night away with their fellow Robloxians. But that's not all. No, no, no. This game also had a cinema, a mansion, a beach, a pool, and an apartment. The boys and girls dance club had it all, baby. The game basically looked like an expansion of the Roblox dance club seen from that video in 2014, but this was a huge hit. Unfortunately, with the roleplay and player interaction being such a major aspect of the club setting, some pretty inappropriate activities took place and Boys and Girls Dance Club quickly became a potentially dangerous environment for kids playing the game. Regardless, YouTubers and trolls rallied to the Boys and Girls Dance Club seeing the massive potential it had for entertainment with the type of people who were attracted to the club being kids. They're easy to make fun of. They might not know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared, but I'm pretty sure they know that ABC equals Q Roblox GF. Over time, the Boys and Girls Dance Club era kind of faded out of popularity or got banned after many complaints about online dating and lack of safety for kids, but that didn't put a stop to the club genre at all. The clubs of Roblox were just getting started. Alright, what we got here? Roblox club boats getting twerked on. Uh, when's he gonna get twerked on? Oh, there it is. Oh, he's shouting out his boys. Living life to the fullest. Introducing club boats. Club boats was created in 2010, but it seemed to really pick up steam in 2015 and 2016. Most videos on club boats were posted around eight to nine years ago. So that seems to be its peak in popularity. Club Boats was the first game I'd ever seen with such a wide variety of dance moves and animations. And the club environment didn't look too bad either for the time, if you compare it to Boys and Girls Dance Club. Aye, aye! Unfortunately, Club Boats had the same issues, except this time the problems were elevated to a new level of depravity. They had the perfect storm of emotes. Twerking, laying, the little hotline bling move, and head spinning. I don't know, you can probably do something creative with that one if you think hard enough. Probably as a result of the backlash the game got for its inappropriate emotes. Like, why did he have to keep twerking in this game? Why did he have to keep the push-ups? We all know what happens with the push-up animation in this game. Kids shouldn't be able to do that. The creators removed the inappropriate emotes, and slowly the game inevitably faded into obscurity. That was at least until the new generation of clubs were introduced. Starting with the famous Club Sanity. Oh, I like this thumbnail. Wait, what's what's that? Huh, what? What? Stop that bear! What the? Bro, someone called Peter. What is that bear doing? Yeah, Club Sanity was one of the worst when it came to letting players run loose with emotes. I mean, they really did not care how easy it was for people to get freaky in their game. The game looked great. The club was huge. It was immersive. The music was interesting let's look up some lyrics for this song i can't go on and on can't understand how i last so long hmm, what does that mean club sanity even pushed the limits with their revolutionary private rooms i mean how blatant can they possibly get i mean what are these kids gonna use these private rooms for in a club game this game sucks good riddance club sanity while all the other games were getting obliterated by the benevolent overseers of roblox Someone was lurking in the shadows, learning, adapting, preparing for their inevitable rise. DJ Michael. 
In 2016, the honoured one of Roblox Clubs was born and shifted the balance of power. Club Tesla. DJ Michael and his developers managed to perfect every criteria required to make a good club game on Roblox. The game looks fine. They've even got missions and stuff. That's 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 above expectations for a club game. I think its most distinguishing aspects would be its unique ability to sync the emotes with the music and the ability to wear cosmetic light bands on your arms and legs. So you can actually feel like you're at a rave. The game did have a team of moderators that kept up some level of safety when they weren't busy looking important, but that by no means changed the type of community the club fostered at all. I mentioned the owner, DJ Michael. He was a... Uh, Pretty bad guy, allegedly. I'm not gonna get into specifics here on my YouTube channel, but there's a lot of info you can find about the guy, um, and it's not good. As this person says from this video six years ago, anybody who makes a club game and puts Odia oh music will most likely become exposed as an Odia. Oh I think the term Odia oh or Oda isn't as much of an insult anymore as it used to be back in the day. I guess. Well, hold on. Let, let me test that. Hey, you. Stop odoring. Stop odoring right now. It stinks. Hey, you two. Stop odoring. <laughs> hey, don't cut me off. Hey, you core blocks girl. No odoring. Put a head and a leg on while you're at it. As you can see, nobody really cares about being called an odor. But I still think online dating on a platform where there's tons of kids around and where everyone is hiding their true identity and age behind an avatar is pretty irresponsible to say the least. And I'm not going to point fingers at anyone, but some of these club owners are kind of weird. I guess the moral to this story is be careful how you act online. I don't know. When Roblox removed the ability for people to upload full copyrighted audios to the developer marketplace, clubs started to die and the community began to split off into other places. If I had to guess, they're probably all in Vibe Place or Mic Up. But who really knows? Maybe they quit Roblox and started playing Valorant. For every kill you get, I'll give you an Ara Ara. Booyah! Can I get an Ara Ara? Ara Ara. Or whatever it is those people do in their free time. The last remaining clubs that I've seen still holding on to some level of relevancy are Club Iris and Club Stella, with around 150 to 50 active players as of me recording this. The music kind of sucks. Bruh, oh, who requested this song? But the animations are cool, I guess, and the cosmetics are pretty neat. I think what really keeps these places alive is the small community of players that continue to visit for whatever reason. Honestly, it's baffling to me how many people sit here just AFK emoting to the music. Seriously, there's no way people like this stuff, right? Are you kidding me? Go listen to some Playboy Cardi or something. Dude, Cardi Roblox concert 2024? Anyway, sorry. So I guess the conclusion I have to this kind of rabbit hole is... Everything has been way worse since club boats removed twerking, man. I mean, can we seriously get some twerking? How can we have a Nicki Minaj concert, but no twerking people? David, what's going on? Seriously.